Zone 3. Do you expect that uh, Berkshire would become uh, one of the standard and poor 500 stocks or uh, a Dow Jones stock? Well, I, I, I'm, I think it's unlikely it ever becomes a Dow Jones stock. I don't know what the criteria are for the S&P 500, but I imagine there's some reason why we don't fit. I, I don't know whether they have questions about uh, number of shares outstanding or I've, I've, never, I've never checked with S&P. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we have the largest market capitalization of any company that isn't in the S&P, although I don't know that. Uh, but they may have some criteria uh, variety that, 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 that uh, preclude Berkshire being part of it. I've always thought it'd be very interesting for those of you who like to uh, think about such things, that if we were part of the S&P 500 and enough people became indexed, so that 60% of the market was indexed. And if Charlie and I wouldn't sell, which we wouldn't, it'd be an, it'd be an interesting proposition as to how the, how the index funds would ever get their 60% if they tried to replicate the S&P. Uh, I, I don't know whether they have rules even about concentration of ownership. That same line of thinking might have applied to Walmart or, or some company. Because just take the extreme example of a company that had 90% of its stock owned by one individual and 12% of the money in the market were indexed uh, and the 90% wouldn't sell it, would bring back the Northern Pacific Corner or something of the sort. And in any event, I don't think that's going to be a problem and, and I don't think we are going to end up being in either index. So.